making the best New Year's resolution that you could ever make for yourself. Hey guys, how are you doing? Just want to do this uh, clip on um, making the best resolution uh, for your life that you could ever make, a you know, best decision across the board. Because from this one thing, everything else can evolve. You know, a lot of people, you know, just to start off with, you know, obviously the only time that time exists is when we're here in the physical. Beyond physical, there's no time. <clears throat> but while we're here, we do you know, adhere to time um, for many different reasons. So we can keep track of everything, keep things organized, keep ourselves on time for work or appointments or whatever it is that we're doing. Um, so it kind of helps bring things, you know, um, uh, more organized and structured in our lives, you know, versus kind of just being without time, right? So, you know, with that, we're coming into a new year, 2024. Um, and for me, what I'm receiving is it's, it's, you know, we've been through a lot in the past since, uh, you know, the whole shutdown COVID, blah, 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 blah. However, um, what I'm receiving and tuning into is that we're going to have, you know, a few more years of not such, <clears throat> you know, sailing through, um, life situations. So there's going to be things more presenting, um, to us, you know. And, it, you know, again, I've done a video on this. It's all for the good because it gives us an opportunity to make change, to see different things from a different perspective. How can I, you know, <clears throat> be in my life in a different way? How can I maneuver through this, right? So um, these opportunities are great opportunities for change, right? These things that come up, <clears throat> you know, in our lives, you know, whether it's on a personal level or on a macro level, and so making change is important, you know, for us to be present and, and do these things, you know, for ourselves, like I was saying. And so as we're coming into the new 2024 year, a lot of people like to set uh, agendas, goals, um, a New Year's resolution. And a lot of times it doesn't work out or they give up and because they don't see change, right? And so it's kind of coming, when we do it like that, we're... <clears throat> Kind of coming in on the back door, the back side, um, the wrong entrance, and trying to make the goals that we're setting <clears throat> the goal that we want to achieve from a different, um, I guess, angle than the the other way around, which is from straight through, right? And again, that's our divine connection. Um, and how do we get our divine connection? How do we make our goals? Um, come true and, and not just using it year after year as a um a mindset to set you know planting the seed yes but how are we going to get there right we got to have an action and goal towards that um and a lot of people will <clears throat> okay i want to lose weight but in the process you know are you eating a gallon of ice cream are you eating chips you know and then going to the gym and working it off right are we putting things in our body that our body doesn't like and it has a result from it, you know, because we lost a connection um, to our bodies, our mind and our spirit on what is actually good for our body and what works well for our body. Instead, we're eating all these different foods that is out there in society that we've trained by others on how we should eat when everybody is individual on their body and what their body likes and what works best for them. Um, you know, sometimes other people will m want to um, have a career, make money, you know, everything that works with them in their way. However, we set goals that are maybe we go on the path and we get there and then we're like, yeah, this isn't it. <laughs> so we've lost time. We've lost money. Um, we've gained a lot of skills and knowledge through that. However, in the end uh, game, it's not really where what we wanted, right? Um, so what is the better way around than going after these goals, setting this up without doing any internal connection, right? Because if we're not connected, we're taking from the outside world when it's actually inside out. So we're actually going around, around the wrong way 
when we're trying to do things like this, setting the goal, there's nothing wrong with setting a New Year's resolution. It's how you go about it, right? And I've done this myself and <laughs> hasn't worked out, you know, in the past, you know, prior to my awakening from understanding this, right? We want to uh, turn in, right? Everything is about turning in. Um, and then um, from turning in, we're able to receive the guidance, what's good for us. Um, so we can have what we want because when we get our ourselves in alignment, everything else just falls into place, right? And so for me in my own journey, having had the awakening experience, my death experience, and then starting on the path, the first thing that came to me um, was meditation. And so from meditation, my life had taken off from, from that spot. Now, if I had negated the meditation, I'd still be in where I was, right? Um, meditation was my game changer, right? And so meditation <clears throat> is what I'm recommending for your New Year's resolution. You can do it or you don't, it's really up to you. But it helps you to align your mind, body, and spirit. It helps you get into alignment with your body so you know what foods are good for you. Um, it helps you tap into your intuition, your guidance, your direct connection with source, what your soul purpose is in this life so that you're not um, going through all these different um, things and ending up in a place that you don't want to be, right? Because when we tune into our soul's purpose, you know, we're given what we're meant to do, not what society uh, puts there for you to do, right? They, they put out there in the um, education, they approve of certain, you know, things that they want you to do so you can do that. And in that you don't really find fulfillment or happiness and joy. And so it's a part of suffering and struggle, right? And so even at the end or during that, whatever we're doing, you know, uh, we don't find that happiness, bliss, and joy. So if we turn in first and then we find ourselves, then we know how to be in the world, right? If that makes sense. So with that being said, meditation is the best Thing that you can do for yourself for 2024, especially with everything coming in from what's going to happen in the future. Um, and just, you know, tuning in, it helps you with stress, meditation, um, well-being, balance, uh, lines your chakras, um, helps you tune into your intuitive abilities, your divine connection. You can receive information from higher consciousness, uh, direction in life. Um, you're able to be able to go to a store and pick out, you know, foods that are healthy for your body, you know, and then whatever is not needed through meditation um, in your life just falls away because it's an awakening process, right? You're tuned, instead of being tuned into the outside world and getting from the outside world what I need, which is, you know, a back entrance, <laughs> a wrong way, if you will, um, of you know, addressing our needs, uh, we want to turn in and then out, right? So, Turning in is, you know, a great way to start off 2024. Now, meditation, um, different, different, lots and lots of different meditation types. And so the one that I'm going to recommend is just sitting quietly, uh, learning to quiet the mind, right? Because um, a lot of times we're running on programs, um, uh, conditioning uh, what we've known. And so those are things that we're perpetuating, right? And we're not really tuning in to you know our, our true self our uh, true guidance um, we can't receive our alignment guidance you know from source higher conscious angels guides whoever you're working with um, through the noise in the mind that's the conditioned state programs things that we're running on so we have to negate those we have to get the mind, the thoughts out of the way practice presence meditation um, and allow the divine guidance to come in and share with us what we're needing, the direction that we need to go in, and then go in it. Because once we receive it, we want to take the steps to go in it. Um, and sometimes people will negate, you know, taking action after receiving the guidance um, because they may be like, well, you know, this isn't for me. However, now if I hadn't stepped on after meditation came to me, which I'm going to share that story, um, at an, in another video, if I hadn't stepped on that path, I wouldn't be where I am today. Because first came meditation, and then as I was learning to meditate and I got to the space where I was quieting the mind uh, of the situation that was around me um, at that time, I ended up 
um, then being led to to yoga, right? And so yoga was um, the next step after that, right? And it being uh, Vinasa flow yoga, um, in, in that I had some other spiritual experiences. And from there, as I kept working with both yoga and meditation, you know, I started connecting uh, with my true self, right? And then all the things um, that were not necessary, didn't need in my life, fell away, right? Less stress. <laughs> um, and I was able to focus on what was more important, right? My eating behaviors changed. I was able to tune into what was more healthier for myself. My body um, aligned the chakras. Um, just everything kind of just help, you know, happened and evolved from that point. Um, so that is definitely, um, you know, the uh, best, you know, um, practice. Or um, if you wanted to set up anything, intention or goal, you know, for 2024 year, um, you know, that would be definitely something that um, uh, you would want to focus on, you know, as far as that. Um, the New Year's resolution, you know, and again, it's just, it's helpful and it may not seem like we're doing a lot <clears throat> because we're always want to, wanting to do things, uh, take action at first, but we want to sit first. We want to sit in the stillness, the calmness, um, get the mind out of the way, uh, get rid of the um, things that are all, all this um, noise going on out in the world. And when we can do that and come to ourselves first, everything else kind of starts getting into alignment. Which, and it may take a little while. It's not going to be an overnight process. Nothing really is, right? Um, so starting off with just meditation, quieting the mind, sitting in the stillness, right? Turn off the music, turn off your phone, turn off the TV. And a lot of people, well, we don't have time. However, um, if you were to trade off your TV time or some other thing that really isn't purposeful in your life, um, and use that time for your meditation, right? And if you, even if you just do it for like 10 minutes, best time is uh, very early in the morning or late at night um, because it will help you go to sleep, calm the mind from the day. Um, it'll also help you in the morning because that's when you're first arising uh, from sleeping and it helps to break up the pattern from the day before and so you have a fresh start in the morning. Um, and then a lot of times early morning is when, um, you know, that's where a lot of wisdom comes in. And that's how I found out from my own journey. Um, so that's why I like to set the mornings out for myself um, because that's where I have the most clarity in the day. Um, Cause after you're going through a full day of working or whatever you're doing, you know, throughout the day, uh, by the time you're at the end of the night, you're exhausted. And so you might fall asleep uh, you know, trying to meditate, um, which is not a bad thing. It helps you to fall asleep as well. It helps you relax, right? Um, but for me, I, you know, the meditation is really helpful in the morning. And um, again, it's just when you um, kind of start bringing things to yourself, because that's where everything comes from. That's how we're going to show up in the world. That's how we're going to be. It's not we're outside in, we're inside out. Right. And so a lot of people feel like, you know, if I bring all this in, you know, um, because we're related, we're engaging in the world, but it's actually opposite. Everything comes from within to without. And that's been my experience. So when I got myself in alignment, everything outside of me shifted. So if you're looking for um, the most best thing that you can do for yourself for 2024, I would say set the goal or the intention. Um, or your New Year's resolution to meditating every day. Set up a little space for you, a little sacred area. Um, make it all yours. Uh, nobody has access to it. It's your space, your time to have your divine connection. Get yourself back in alignment to who you are, your spirits, your mind, your body, um, and to your divine connection of source, God, whoever, whatever you want to call it, and whatever it is for you right? Um, and then the world will shift and change. Now, because we have had these old, old patterns before and things that we've done before, um, 
it's going to take a little while because we've been doing, you can't stop a train. And um, Abraham <laughs> Hicks uses this um, scenario. You can't stop a train that's going a million miles in one direction like that, right? Like a drop of a, a hat um, is going to take a little while. It's movement, it's energy, it's mo momentum, right? And so to do this, you have to just start doing it, whether it feels good or not. You're going to feel some resistance, you know, and it may not feel good and take a while for you to get to the place where you're in alignment and your mind is still. But if you do it every day, you know, at least for 10 minutes every day, you know, you're setting that um, juncture. So when it does come, <clears throat> you'll be right on track. <clears throat> it's like one train, a train change it from one track to the other. Um, it, and you just got to make that and it'll happen on its own, right? So, um, you know, with that being said, that would be, you know, the best thing. Um, and you can take it or leave it. It's really up to you, um, you know, on how to redirect your life going into 2024. That would be the best New Year's resolution gift to yourself and to the world. All right. Happy journeys. <laughs>